talking about fluid, fluid mechanics and it's important to talk about the case when what is the variation of pressure for a fluid which is at rest. So we have this container which is full of fluid and it's, the fluid has a density rho. So the question is how does the pressure changes inside the fluid? So the pressure let's say is P0 here, if P0 is the atmospheric pressure we know that there is atmosphere all around which has a pressure its own, pressure of its own which it's putting on every everything which lies uh, which is in contact with atmosphere so the surface is experiencing p naught but the question is what is the pressure p at height or depth depth h below how much is the pressure at depth h and to really understand or find out this uh, pressure here at a depth edge, let's say we make a cylindrical volume like this. Any volume, but let's for the sake of simplicity make a cylindrical volume. Now this volume, if we reproduce, has an area of A and a length or a height or you can say depth of H. And this guy is being acted by a force of gravity which is mg and because of that if we consider the layer here, this is the layer here, some the bottom of the cylinder, this layer is experiencing a force downward because of gravity. So what is what is the force on this the bottommost layer? Well the force is nothing but force of gravity and then all you have to do is calculate the mass of this whole thing. So the whole mass of the whole thing is being acted by gravity and the mass of the whole thing we know is going to be rho times V. The density of the, uh, of the fluid times the volume of this whole thing which is going to be nothing but rho A h because a is the cross section any cross section does not have to be cylinder let's say a is the cross section which is may, which is same throughout and h is the height so rho and a h becomes the volume of the whole thing so h is the volume and rho is the density multiply them and we get the mass of the whole thing we have the mass what is the force force is nothing but rho a h g and what is the pressure because of this thing because this is putting a pressure then that means pressure is defined as force over area because for there is force there should be pressure also and that gives us rho gh so the pressure because of this uh, cylindrical or any, any block is rho gh so pressure here actually is going to be total pressure is going to be p0 because p0 is anyway acting on top of the surface which will just transmit downward this pressure will be transmitted downwards plus rho g h so this is the total pressure so as we go down um, the pressure increases and uh, that's why we see that deep water fishes are uh, actually very thin because of the high pressure they have to tolerate that's why they are pretty thin so as we go down pressure increases and this is the formula as a matter of fact if we have two points inside the fluid which are separated by a height h and the height let's say here is p2 i mean pressure here is p2 and p1 then we know p2 minus p1 will be rho g h